Hello everybody and welcome to your next C++ made each C++ made easy HD tutorial. And this tutorial we're going to be learning about uh, writing to files. So let me just change this. Writing to files. Okay, so in the last tutorial we learned about reading from files and how it reads everything individually until it hits a space, right? And uh, so I hope that that tutorial wasn't a bit too confusing for you, but if it was then you can leave a comment in the previous tutorial and tell me, tell, let me know what part was confusing so I can address it in future tutorials. Anyways, uh, so what's going to happen is I'm going to remove this right now. So the if stream uh, is to to read to get input from files, right? So I for input and S stream. So in order to display output, to output something to a text file, we use O F stream or the off stream, right? So we open a file the exact same way, whether it be if stream, off stream, or F stream. So I'm gonna call it open file, and we're gonna open test.txt. Right, so we're gonna say if open file dot is open, then we do something with it, right? This time we don't have to cycle through the text file because we're writing whatever we want to write to it. So in this case, I'm gonna put blah, okay, blah, 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 whatever. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna say off stream, but in this case, instead of using two left right stream operators, we use two left stream operators, right? Oh, why did I say off stream? It should be open file. And we can put in we can actually put in text in here, or we can put in a variable that has text or or numbers or whatever that we want to input in there. So what's gonna happen is that notice we use two left two left stream operators because this text is going to be put into the file. So think of it whenever you work with streams, just sort of think of it that way if you ever forget. So we're gonna use open. We're gonna put our text into that file name that we just opened. So let's just test this out to see if it works. So nothing's gonna be displayed to the screen, obviously. But let's run this. And let's open our file. So let me go to my computer. So as you can see, I put blah, blah, blah. Now, uh, I want to show you one more thing. So I'm going to just put coding made easy. And let me run this one more time. Oh, no, this is different. Okay, so let's open back up our file again. And notice that it just replaced the text that we had, right? So it said blah, blah, blah. And then now it replaced it with coding made easy. Now, what if we wanted to append it or write to the end of it or how do we set that we want to write to the beginning of it or write at a certain index of the file or so on and so forth well there is a f uh, certain things that we can add to it notice that there's nine different overloads in the off stream that we can do to modify what we do to the file and so on and so forth right and since there is so much of them, I'm not going to be explaining it in this tutorial. I'm going to be explaining it in tutor uh, the tutorial after the next one because the next one's going to be talking about the get line function. So I'm just going to end the tutorial there. This is a very simple tutorial, right? To load something, to write something to a file, you have to open the file, name it whatever, uh, open the file, whatever and then write whatever you need to write to it by using the open file just like you would use C out. So that's how you do it. Uh, there's nothing really trivial to it so I know it's a short tutorial but I'm going to end it there and we'll learn how to append and set the pointers to where we can start uh, writing from etc etc and how we can locate certain text and files because sometimes we might not want to get all the data we might want to find one index of it and then get 
that data within it. So I'm going to teach you all that in the next few tutorials. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, thanks for watching and bye.